Hi, welcome to Data Engineering. So today we are going to discuss about one SQL question which is asked in Facebook Meta interview. Okay, just I'll show you the question first. So this is the question. So find the popularity percentage. So this is the main thing, popularity percentage. Okay, popularity percentage of what? So popularity percentage for each user on Facebook, the popularity percentage is defined as the total number of friends the user has divided by the total number of user the platform on the platform then converted into a percentage by multiplying by 100. Okay, this is the question actually. And uh, they have uh, given two uh, columns uh, in the structure, user 1 and user 2. User 1 is actually the user. User 2 is the friend of the user. So they are not giving the names. Instead, they are giving the IDs because this is where like it's a, it's a, it's a numeric, uh, for, it's a numeric problem, right? So we have to give the popularity percentage. So to make it more understandable, right? So I added two more columns to give some specific structure. Along with the ID, I have given two more columns where it has the names also for the better understanding. Okay. Okay. Let me share my blackboard. Okay, fine. So now let's uh, split the scenario into two. So this is all about popularity percentage. The first thing what they have mentioned is total number of friends the user has, right? The user has okay and then total number of user the whole platform has that is the facebook right platform has now imagine uh, the, the the whole facebook has only 5000 users just imagine so the first one total number of friends that you have for example you have 100 right so now you have to divide these two and then you will be getting one answer right you have to multiply that with 100 that's it so this is what uh, you have to do so they have given the hint also now the structure the, the column structure what they have given is they are giving two column user one and then user two but instead of name they are giving ids like this like this so with this you have to uh, create a query and then you have to do the you have to solve this problem but as i told you for a better understanding i have added two more columns along with the id i am just giving a name for each id i am giving a name for the better understanding but nothing will be get changed with respect to the output or with respect to the problem solving so let me show my uh, workbench MySQL workbench. So I'm going to do this in MySQL. So I'm just creating a table here. You can see. So I'm just creating a table like test dot Facebook friends and UID one and then you name one comma UID two you name two. Okay. I'm just inserting some values here. So let me directly show you the select statement. Uh, the output of select statement. So now you can see here. So I have an ID two for ID. The particular user is Gautam. And then you will be seeing one more two here. It's the same person, Gautam. So for Gautam, Rahul is friend. And then for Rahul, Sarvanan is friend. John, Rahul. Rahul, Nila. And then for Rahul, Nandu is friend. For Gautam, again, Nandu is friend. For Jaya, Gautam is friend. Peter, friend is Saravanan. And then for Saravanan, Sri is friend. So one thing that you have to notice here is, if you, if this is a Facebook, this is not Instagram. For example, in Instagram, you can follow someone irrespective to whether they are following you back or not. Right. In that case, this question is tricky, but this is Facebook. When you send a friend request and if the request has been approved by the user, then you both are friends. That's it. That means if you see here, Gautam has one friend Rahul, but again, Rahul also has friend in Rahul friendless. Gautam is also his friend, right? But you, you can see in the left hand side for Rahul, Sarvanan is there. And then again for Rahul, Nila is there. Again for Rahul, Nandu is there. But again for Rahul, Gautam is not there. So for Gautam, Rahul means again Rahul Gautam, right? And then if you see here in the second Rahul Saravanan, but again Saravanan Rahul is not there. So to get the popularity percentage of each user, I need to have both. So that means you need to have one entry Gautam Rahul. And then again, you need to have an another entry called Rahul Gautam. So you have to build the entire, this nine records, you have to build it in that way. That means nine into two, 18 rows you have to create. So for that, what I'm doing is, so you can see there is a select statement, which I'm doing. Select, I'm selecting all columns from Facebook friend. And then I'm doing an union with the same table. So the tricky part here is I'm just converting the user ID 2 to user ID 1, username 2 to username 1 and then same thing. So user ID 1 I'm converting back to user ID 2 and then user ID, username 1 I'm changing the allies to username 2. Okay, when I run this what you will be getting is 
So you'll be getting 18 rows that will be get returned by this. So if you see here, Gautam, Rahul. And again, you will be seeing one entry for Rahul Gautam. So where it is? Yeah, you can see here. So it was not there before, right? So we need this. Only when I have this, I can able to uh, get the popularity percentage of each user. When I say each user, the user in left hand side and the user in the right hand side, both, right? So first you have to build this to get this table. And I'm using union here. Okay, so now I'm storing this with, with the class in CT. It's a temporary. I'm just temporarily I'm creating this and I'm storing it with CT as a name. And then now I'm just creating the actual formula, right? So now select user ID 1, comma. Now this is what the actual calculation is. Okay, so now the first part, if you see, that is count of distant user ID 2. So user ID 2 is this one. So count of distant user ID 2 for user ID 1 because in group by you have user ID 1. So if you take 2, how many 2 you have? 1 and then and then you have here, okay, 2 and then 3. Okay, totally you have 3 times the 2, right? So here count distant of UID 2. 2 as decimal. I'm just doing a, uh, since it's a percentage, I'm casting this to decimal. So 3. So 2, uh, one friend is Rahul and then for second 2, one friend is Nandu and then again one more 2 for 2, third friend is Jaya. So 3. So now select the count of distant UID 1 from CTE. That is the with class what we created, right? So total number of user in the platform. So we have two questions, right? So the first one, total number of friends the user has, which is three for Gautam. And then total number of the user the platform has, the total number. So this is not actually total. The output what you see has 18 uh, rows, but this is not the correct one. The distance of this 18 rows is nine. So now three divided by, so, 3 divided by 9 is 0.3. Now you have to multiply this with 100. So now you get 33.3. Right. So now you are getting as that as a percentage in analyze from again CTE table. And then you are doing a group by with UID 1 and order by UID 1. So let me. So if you see for Gautam that is user ID 2, we are getting 33.2. 33.3. Right. So now let me run this. So let me run this. So you will be getting an answer. Okay, where for two, it is 33.3. Yes, it is matching. So similarly, for one, one is actually Rahul. So Rahul has a lot of friends, right? So he, he is leading 55 percentage. And the nine is actually Sri. So Sri has just one friend. So it's like 11 percentage. That's it. So this is the question that has been asked in Facebook. And uh, this question is there in internet also. Uh, so many uh, online uh, coding practice platform has this question. And then even in Stack Overflow, they have this and a lot of discussion is going on. So recently I heard about this question. So I just wanted to explain that as a video for you guys. If you really like this video, please do subscribe to my channel and follow this to your friends and colleagues. I do have a lot of videos, not only SQL, I do have a lot of videos like big data, data science related videos and entire tutorials are there. Just go to my channel and have a look. Thanks for watching.